What drives most of our work is environmental stewardship and understanding that land use has a moral dimension. When I was a child, I spent a lot of time hiking with my family in the woods of Vermont. Both my parents are scientists, so we always were taught to be curious and to stop, smell, and identify the flowers. My mom is receiving her PhD in computer science, so I spent my youth in the back of artificial intelligence classes eating peanut butter cookies. <laughs> I really enjoyed all these different design programs. I found such a deep love for visualizing information. A lot of knowing is also of simplifying, of understanding and making things accessible. I graduated from high school, saved up some money, and decided to travel the world a little bit. It really opened my eyes to what truly abject poverty is. And that was the first time I had really seen land as a tremendous vehicle for transforming lives and ending poverty. During that time, I was hanging out with these really cool nuns. I saw the nuns were doing the most amazing work, but I also saw that their land management and property management could have used some improvement. And I realized that no one was really helping the Catholic Church steward their massive properties, very likely one of, if not the largest, networks of land. And so I founded Goodlands. I knew that this idea I had about church property and managing it for good needed to happen at scale. These are all pieces of information that tell a story about a landscape. And when you put the overlay of land ownership on that, especially for, say, one large landholder, like the Catholic Church, you can find where programs are going to make their impact. From there, I went to Rome. I was 26 years old. I was led by the Swiss Guard through a hallway on the third loggia with the most beautiful fresco maps I've ever seen. Then I asked them, where are your maps? And the priest indicated to the walls. I asked if they even had a cartography department, and the answer was once again, no, and it's fine if you make them. When people hear that I'm a cartographer, they often think of a man on a ship. The reality is, if you've ever used GPS, you have used a map. People are scared for their own futures, their families' futures, their communities' futures. My hope for humanity is that we can realize the scope and the breadth of human suffering, of the planetary suffering, and take that and help transcend towards a place of regeneration. My call to young people is to move forward with tenderness and compassion in whatever their calling is. Dare to map the future. Dare to use land for environmental good. Thanks for being part of my journey. I'll see you at the Nobel Prize ceremony in Stockholm in 10 years. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking.